Hi guys, it's Craig Beals. And one of the things I love about science is that sometimes you see things on the internet or you hear about things and they just grab your attention so much that you can't help yourself. And that's what happened here. I saw this online, I'll talk about it more in the video. And I couldn't help but make one, but not only make one, just make a monstrosity of one. So I'm gonna show you how to make this propane pulse gun. I'm gonna show you all my fails and I'm gonna show you why this thing is so awesome. So I originally saw this on YouTube, um, Nighthawk in Light, making great videos. And I wanted to do it a lot more inexpensively than he did. So I bought some cheap stuff with some little 3 8 tube and it didn't work at all. Not enough pressure to push it through there and not enough gas. So I went back to the store and I really beefed it up this time and got the stuff that was recommended in his video. So I'm using 5 8 inch inside diameter, 7 8 outside. And then I needed a bottle at the end um, to really give that thump, that big boom. I didn't have a drill, so I just burned a hole in the end of a bottle. And then um, you got to put that bottle right on the tube. It fits perfectly in that 7 8 outside diameter. And then if you pump a little propane through there and spark it, you're going to see it start to shrink down as it heats up. And it gets a little hot for a minute, but once it's shrunk down and it gets nice, thick, heavy plastic walls on it, it didn't seem to shrink anymore, so it was pretty good. Now, I, I decided to do some experimentation, and I wanted to have a double barrel gun. So I got some couplers and some tees made out of nylon. I just started to experiment at this point. I didn't think the gas would come out both sides, but it did. It came out perfectly. So then I decided, well, I've got all this small 3 8 tube. What if I break it down and I have tubes going all over the place? The problem was... With that small end, the gas couldn't push its way through there and burn up. So it was back to using all of this, the 5 8 inside diameter and 7 8 I started at 25 feet. I wanted as long a tube as possible. And I found that 10 foot really was the optimal length. So I did some testing with the 10 foot and I really was, if I held down the propane long enough, I could get that to go all the way to the end. It worked out really well. Get that nice blue fireball shooting down to the end. And so what I decided at this point was I really did want a double barrel. And I thought, well, what if I take the, uh, the T that I had before and I have two lengths of 10 foot and I put it in there. And then I pump a considerable amount of gas, but not too much to be dangerous, into the end and try to push that through there. Now it's time to try the double. I reattached, and what I found was it nearly make it to the end, but it just wasn't enough gas to get all the way to the end of the tubes. So it was a good experiment, but it wasn't giving me what I wanted. I had to go to the next step. I had to get another propane burner. And once I did that, I actually found out this was maybe going to be way more cool anyway, because I could pulse it on either side, and I didn't have to have the flame going down both sides at the same time. I thought this might give a nice visual appeal. I added my uh, two bottles to the end to get that nice thump. And then at that point, I decided I needed something really robust to hold my 20 feet of tube up. I got some PVC pipe, started putting things together. And I ended up with this big four foot monstrosity here and started to wrap the cords around the outside. Got my uh, two propane torches hooked to the end, and the rest is history. So let's talk about the science of what's going on inside our propane gun here. I've got some symbols to represent the different gases that are going in there, and I've got my tube down here at the bottom. And what happens is at the nozzle, when you pull the trigger, some of the propane starts to fill the tube but it also mixes oxygen in with it so that it can make this combustion reaction happen very easily. And so what we get is a tube filled up with propane and with oxygen. And then when you pull the trigger all the way in, you get a little spark and that spark starts to consume up the propane and the oxygen, oxygen through a combustion reaction. And what we have left over is some carbon dioxide and some water that fills up the tube. But as you're pulling the trigger and you click, you continue to hold it ever so slightly so that some of that gas continues to push the reaction down the tube. When you do, 
it fills the tube up with a little bit of propane gas and oxygen back behind it, which means once you pull that trigger again and it progresses through there, you get a big boom. Well, why the, the bottle at the end and why does that make it even louder? Well, what starts to happen is all that stuff is streaming through there, but it isn't perfectly being consumed, which means the reaction isn't perfect. So some of the stuff gets less left behind. And as it pushes the gases out in front of it, it starts to fill that tube up even more or fill the bottle up even more. And now once that spark or that flame reaches the bottle, it's got all this gas and all this space to be able to expand and um, combust and it goes shooting out the end of the bottle. And that's why we get that nice big thump down at the end. So that's the science behind our propane fireball gun or propane fireball cannon, whatever we're going to call it. I had a colleague ask me, said, you know, what's the point? Why would you even bother building this? And I think for me, really the point is, why not? There's also another one too, you know, I imagine that day where my daughter comes home and there's some guy who really wants to take her out on a date and I imagine myself sitting with my feet up saying, so uh, I want to date my daughter. Well, isn't that interesting? kids have fun tonight, I'll just be here polishing my double barrel propane pulse gun and waiting for you kids to get home. Now run along and have a great time. 